Tesla Cybertruck has amazed the public with a plethora of features, with outlets in the trunk, a 4-foot long glass brush, and of course, a stainless steel body that you can kick all day long. And now I'll pose a question to you. Do you know the main feature of stainless steel? Correct, it doesn't rust. But once again, a modern automotive genius flipping the market upside down. Well, yes, the Cybertruck rusts. What did you expect? Did you want to ride it for the rest of your life? If that would be so, where would you spend your money? That wouldn't work, so Elon decided and introduced a breakthrough feature into the main EV car of 2023. Now seriously. This issue was first raised by users on the CybertruckOwnersClub.com forum. A user under the pseudonym Raxar started a thread complaining that soon after he got his new Tesla and just after two days of rain, small rust spots began to appear on the surface of their truck. I picked it up in Dublin, California. Yesterday, it was pouring rain, drove to Sacramento, and there was a bunch of tiny orange dots and a few water spots, Raxar wrote. The orange dots aren't huge, but they're noticeable. Of course, I haven't washed the car yet, but it's only been raining for two days. Raxar's post immediately sparked speculation, as some participants suggested it might not be rust, but pollen, railroad dust, or that the rust could be caused by carbon shavings at the factory. However, Raxar's experience was not unique, and others shared similar stories. User Vertigo3PC wrote that they received their Cybertruck on February 1st and noticed similar orange rust spots on its body. They decided to document this and inform Tesla. Talking to someone on site, they told me, one, they have a procedure slash guide on how to fix it, but two, they don't have the tools on hand and haven't done this repair before, the user wrote. They documented the corrosion and said they would call me next month when the tools arrive and they can perform the service slash repair. Indeed, the user manual warns drivers that Cybertruck stainless steel body panels may corrode under certain circumstances. To prevent damage, it is recommended to coat immediately, remove substances such as grease, oil, bird droppings, and more. Moreover, it states that owners should not wait for Cybertruck to undergo a full wash. At this point, it's worth stopping to delve into more detail. You see, when the mass market shifted to electric vehicles around 2016 or 17, human perception of cars changed dramatically. Primarily, this is because the process of caring for an electric vehicle is completely different from caring for an internal combustion engine vehicle. Just think of the recent buzzworthy article about the Tesla Model S that surpassed 1.2 million million kilometers. Everyone, upon seeing the title of the article, experienced deja vu, much like 20 years ago with the legendary 1966 Volvo P1800, which traveled 2 million kilometers without repair. But scrolling down the page, the effect quickly dissipated, as it turned out that the Tesla covered this distance by replacing 14 electric motors and 4 battery packs. Well, now those are consumables. Previously, consumables in cars were considered gaskets and seals, and now it's engines and batteries. What am I saying all this for? I'm saying that many publications consider it normal for the attitude towards maintaining the body of a Cybertruck to change. In other words, the person who buys it is already prepared for the fact that after some time they will have to replace the battery then they will have to replace the engine. But you know what's not mentioned on the Cybertruck ordering website and what they weren't ready for? That they'll have to keep it in sterile conditions and spend money on additional body care. Otherwise, in a month, this 60 grand car will turn into a rat rod. <laughs> what a wonderful time we'll live in.